Okay, this is essentially a continuation of the last video that you saw on my account. We're going to again uh, measure a frequency from generated by my test oscillator. Uh, this time uh, we're going to use a slightly different method. It's actually a simpler method if your scope supports it. And since I just got this 60, uh, this uh, excuse me, 2465A Tektronix, I wanted to demonstrate one of its features. Okay, instead of just counting. Uh, divisions. This time uh, I'm going to hit, I'm going to uh, try to get some focus here. You may not be able to see this, but it's delta T. When I hit that, two markers come on the screen. You can move them. So we'll place the first marker on the first zero crossing, and then the second marker on the second one. Make sure I have that nice and lined up. That's pretty good. And uh, you can see here, uh, we've already got a period measurement. Um, 1,035 microseconds. And to the left you see uh, delta T. So, now, same setup as before. Times 1K, uh, the VFO or the dial is set on 1. We're coming out of the one ohm output. So uh, at this point, what we want to do is we want to convert the period from microseconds to seconds. So we've got uh, 1,035 microseconds. So we want to take the decimal place, 6 to the left, so that's going to give us 0 0.001035 seconds. So divide um, 1 by this number you should have your frequency. So 1 divided by 0, 0, 1, 0, 3, 5. Make sure I got that right. So we got 966, so 0 0.18. So around 966 approximately 966 or 966.2 kilohertz. And this time uh, I've got the Hewlett Packard standing by. But uh, just to be uh, thorough, let's get the opinion of the Electrotech again. Just like in the last video, had a bit bit of trouble doing this B and C with one hand. Ah, but nevertheless, we're a little bit over a hertz off. Hey, this is pretty good news. We'll drop down another hertz. Now, having done that, just one second. Let me get my hands on that connector, plug into the AC input on the Hewlett Packard, oh, okay it's wanting uh, a bit more input voltage, voila, 964, 965 highly in agreement with what we saw up here and actually we're going to get a third opinion this time and take this out take the 
take my cheap portable visible um digital excuse me uh this is my Velleman portable portable scope power that up it's not bad for quick and dirty measurements as we're hopefully about to see take that amplitude down a touch okay you may not be able to see the last thing I need to do is bump that frequency dial on that sig jam but you may not be able to see individual pixels go out a bit turn on the markers on this place marker one try to place it uh, right over the, the same pixel as we placed the second marker okay here I'm seeing 961.5 so there's about a four hertz discrepancy here three and a half very interesting so we have an instrument from the 1960s agreeing with uh, two 80s pieces of equipment here so I know what you're thinking calibration time and you're absolutely right but uh, in any case this has been a lot of fun 73 KF4 DBK out